Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Wishes, Black Beauty, your product, Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond. Also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. So with that being said, guys, we're gonna get started, okay? Um, you have the overall energy of joy here, okay? So something uh, is bringing you some type of joy, happiness, fulfillment in some way, shape, form, or fashion, okay? I feel like this joy that is coming to you, it's bringing you some type of peace, okay? With uh, Archangel Azrael, uh, yeah, Azrael here, okay? Um, something is giving you a sense of peace, a, pen a peace of mind. Spirit is saying, release the past. There is a more... Um, enriching future coming let go and let god okay so whatever joy whatever is bringing you some type of joy that you're feeling some type of uh, joy or harmony or peace or happiness or fulfillment from okay um spirit is saying that's coming to you for you to release the past we also have the ace of gabriel here this is like the ace of wands in the traditional tarot deck so this talks about growth okay you have grown a lot you are passionately moving forward um i feel like you have clear vision you're making wise decisions um you know what direction you want to go in we have the eyes of beauty here okay um you could have some beautiful eyes okay but this talks about good expectations as well as you having some type of clarity of some kind or getting some type of clarity or either you have some type of clarity of some kind and at the bottom of the last card we have here is harvest okay so there's some type of harvest that is coming in for you so these good expectations this clarity that you're coming into this has something to do with a harvest okay this is in the now energy here this is like harvest season harvest time this one thanksgiving and all this other stuff happened um in the autumn months here okay this is what's bringing you joy here okay this is what's bringing you peace this is what is uh giving you that growth enabling you to passionately move forward guys okay you all please like share and subscribe that is your free way of showing your support to the channel it is greatly greatly appreciated and i do thank you in advance here okay so we have triumph here okay so you are having some type of triumph or victory or success in some type of way um as it relates to something in your life this is what is bringing you joy a sense of peace here yeah sudden wealth okay this is a large lump sum of money you see the 777 here you all could be seeing uh signs and synchronicities of the sevens here you could be seeing angel number 777 um Somebody could even be going to the casino, uh, hitting a jackpot or winning big at a casino. You could be playing, uh, you know, the numbers or buying scratch offs and you're, you're lucky you're winning here. Uh, 11 is significant here too, but specifically seven. Okay. If you're playing the numbers, somebody definitely, you need, definitely need to play sevens, 11, 13, 16. Okay, a 25. Definitely seven. Seven is a winning number here, okay? We have calm here, okay? So you're, this piece is giving you a sense of calmness here, okay? This says, I breathe, live and grow the light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts. All fear uh, um, dissipates and... I find peace in my being here, okay? So something is bringing you a sense of calmness in some way, shape, form, or fashion, Spirit is saying here, okay? Um, others of you, you could be coming... <sighs> You could be coming into the sudden wealth by other means, okay? Those of you, I was just saying, those of you um, who do go to the casino, who do play the numbers, who do buy scratch-offs and different things like that or what have you, um, that could be happening for someone here. But um, 
this could be coming to you by any way, shape, form, or fashion, but you are definitely triumphing, okay? Something is significant to sevens as well, though, okay? Because one and six makes seven. Triumph is a number seven. You got seven, seven, seven here on this card here. Um, two, uh, 25 here, two and five is seven. Something is significant to sevens, okay? So we have milk and honey here. Okay, you are stepping into the land of milk and honey here. Okay, um, I feel like milk and honey is all is 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 everything that is like it's pure, it's natural, it's good, is 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 righteous, is lovely. You're come, you're walking into, or you're receiving some type of milk and honey. This is bringing you peace here. And speaking of peace, you have a second card here that says peace here. Okay. Something is giving you a peace of mind, okay? This peace is bringing a sense of calmness over you, okay? We have belief here, okay? So continue to believe here. A number 11 is on here just like the sudden wealth card is a number 11 here, okay? Um, the frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source here, okay? So continue to believe in yourself. Forget who don't, you know, who else don't believe in you or support you or what have you. Believe in yourself, okay? This is tied, your belief is tied into the most high, it's tied into the high, a higher power, it's tied into your, your, your gifts, your talents, your abilities, your, um, creations and everything here i feel like you are triumphing in some type of way because of your beliefs here okay this frequency of belief um this is like a boosting your self-worth okay that's based on your gifts and your talents here okay so we also have third eye chakra here okay so your third eye could definitely be open Okay, this has the frequency of the third eye chakra, the indigo flower of life supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. You could be someone who is highly intuitive, um, who's psychic in some type of way, but your third eye is definitely open. Okay, so we have a beautiful little worm. Okay. Spirit is calling you a beautiful little worm, okay? This says take care of yourself, okay? I feel like you are coming, um, this triumph, this sudden wealth, this peace, this milk and honey, this harvest, this joy, this growth that's coming in for you, you are going to be able to take care of yourself. Not to say that you're not taking care of yourself now. You're going to be able to take better care of yourself here. Your heart chakra is of importance here as well. You have the third out chakra. Now you have the heart chakra. Spirit is saying love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being attuned most to love. It's safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect uh, protection and guidance here. So those of you um, who um, have been maybe afraid to extend your love or um getting any type of love situation relationships or anything like that or whatever spirit is saying that you're you're, you're safe to love you're safe to give love okay um your angels are standing by okay with perfect protection okay not just protection this says you have perfect protection okay and guidance Something very significant to your third eye chakra and your heart chakra here. You are breaking free of something here. Maybe something that had a hold on you. You are breaking free of any bounds, uh, chains, anchors, being weighed down, setbacks, blockages, or what have you. You're breaking free in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. Whoever you are, you're a natural born healer. Okay, you may or may not have a profession um, in the medical field, but you are definitely a natural born healer. Spirit is saying that you have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others. Okay, so um, your life purpose 
uh, could have something to do with you healing and helping others, serving others in some type of way here. And we have gratitude here, okay? So this talks about you remembering to have to give to have gratitude, to give thanks and appreciation for what you have, what's yet to come, as well as those future things as well. Spirit is saying, be grateful for all you have because there's definitely a lot that is coming in for you. There's a major harvest that is coming in for you, Spirit is saying here, okay? Okay, yeah, look at that. Universe at the bottom of the deck, okay? So the universe is definitely... Um, Working in your favor, Spirit is saying, for those of you who are resonating with this reading, okay? You could be a feminine energy, okay? Spirit, what else is going on here? There's something significant to contracts, career, and commitments, okay? Any of you all who are being presented with some type of contractual agreements, make sure you read over the, 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 the contracts thoroughly, especially the fine print, okay? Anything, any legal jargon that you don't understand or anything, um, you want to seek legal counsel um, for them to read over it for you and get you a better understanding and explain what you don't know, okay? You you don't have to feel pressure to run in, run into anything right away. Anybody who um, wants you to sign something in a hurry and um, won't allow you adequate amount of time to review something or seek legal counsel, it's probably something you don't need to do anyway because they're trying to push you to make some type of hasty decision and it's probably a bad deal anyway, okay? So review any contracts or anything uh, thoroughly, okay? Make sure you read the fine print, okay? And those things are literally... Um, those contracts are literally worded in a way for most people not to be able to understand them, okay, at a certain point, you know, certain things you will be, you know, you'll be able to understand, okay, this is that and that is this or whatever, but uh, there's a lot of it that's a whole bunch of legal garden. We buy here, therefore, um, the subsidies of and adequate of this, you know what I'm saying? Just ridiculous words going together that don't seem like they go together. It's like, what the fuck are they saying? Why won't they just say, you know, whatever? Um, that's what you need to seek legal counsel to look over because they'll know exactly what they're looking at and exactly what it's saying. Okay, they went to school for such a thing. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we have present abundant gratitude yet again. This is present energy, the now energy here. There is abundance that is coming in for you. You are going to be very abundant. Um, definitely have gratitude, give thanks, have appreciation for what's coming into you. We have the sun here. The sun is giving you strength. It's giving you a sense of empowerment here as well. This sun is shining on you. It's shining through you as well. Um, definitely steer clear of people who are putting up some type of facade, persons who are wearing a mask, who are not who they appear to be in some way, shape, form, or fashion. We have celebrations, gifts, and abundance here, okay? So this is definitely cause for celebration here. There's some type of gifts or abundance that is coming in for you. You are in your receiving um, this receiving energy, this harvest that is coming in for you. Yeah, look at that. Freedom. Leaps. You're taking leaps of faith, okay? Wise leaps of faith. Not blind, careless, reckless leap of faith, but wise leaps of faith. You see the sky is clear. You see this person's path is clear, okay? This is, this is freedom. You have freedom. You have new opportunities coming in for you. Spirit is saying... Okay, I see integration and union here. Look at that autumn. This is happening in the now. We're in the autumn months. This talks about a harvest. This is the second card that you have here that talks about harvest. You have uh, two cards here that talks about gratitude. Two cards here that talks about peace. Okay, we also have self care and energy here. Okay. Continue to focus on self-care, self-love, self-concern, uh, in your independence and healing and different things like that as well here, okay? To keep your energy up. I'm also seeing uh, a masculine here. There could be a masculine of significance coming into your life. 
I see masculine and twin flame here. Whoever this masculine is may be a twin flame of yours. This person may be trying to come into your life. This masculine may have rejected you in the past. This person may have left you feeling fragmented in some type of way. We have receive and open here. So you're open to receive. You're definitely receiving something. It's very interesting on this open to receive. You see this person's hand open here. Just like on celebration gifts in abundance. You see this person's hand open here. Okay. So you're definitely um, receiving something. Okay. We're going to look, yeah, you, you and this masculine, this person wants some type of reunion with you. Y'all have some type of soul tie together. Um, whomever this masculine is, okay? There's definitely changes that's happening for you. Somebody, you could be moving, uh, relocating, traveling, taking a trip, going on a journey or something like that or what have you. Um, the Spirit, give me one more card on this, this twin flame energy here. Be careful. This person might invite you to a party, honey. That's kind, but mm, you might not want to go. You see the chicks at this party? Yeah, you might not want to go. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, toxicity, bound patterns. This is devil energy. The people at that party is toxic. They're chained to the devil. They have addictive patterns of behavior. Okay? Um... Yeah, I see self-love, creation, and intentions here. So I feel like this is what you are focused on. You have self-care here as well as self-love here. You're also a creating thing or things, and you're very creative, okay? You have pure intentions, though, okay? Yeah, there's some type of fulfillment of wish that is happening for you. I see avoidance and stalemate here. Either this masculine twin flame has uh, been avoiding you. Okay, and this situation has turned into some type of stalemate or you may be avoiding this person because of how they did you before. But it's like this person wants some type of reunion and, and, and y'all have some type of soul tie. This person wants some type of integration and union. So you have reunion and union here. Okay, so it's like this person. Um, yeah, this person wants to come into your life here. Okay, um, yeah, bottom of the jack, we have attraction, Mars hot like this person could be hot for you they have this attraction for you this is mars energy here okay we're gonna look more into him okay um and see what's going on here spirit give us a card on this masculine twin flame reunion um soul ties this person is doing something behind the scenes behind closed doors behind your back spirit clear for this twin flames integration and union This person could be coming in to try to tempt you. <laughs> yeah, I see temptation and passion ignited. And I see, I seen a sacrifice here, okay? So this person, whoever this twin flame is, wants to tempt you. They're doing something behind the scenes, though. Maybe they could, could be sneaking and creeping around, plotting and planning, scheming on how to get close to you, okay? But you are having new beginnings nonetheless here, okay? Let's see what other messages we get here. Spirit, what's the deal with this masculine twin flame that wants some type of reunion, integration, uh, soul tie, or union with the collective? We got access granted here. This person... This person may have been granted some type of access to your social media or something. This person could be on social media, on fake profiles, hiding, um, watching you. This person could even be communicating with you um, through fake profiles. This person has a grip on them, though, okay? They either want this grip on you or there's something that has a hold of this person here. It's like this person is anchored or chained or weighed down by something here, yet this person has this access um, on social media in some type of way. 
Oh, this person may be a karmic and pretending. They may be trying to get you wrapped up in some type of third party relationship. This person may be a little fake and live beyond their means. I even see retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge here. Let's make sure that energy is for this person. Spirit, clarify this masculine twin flame. Clarify this masculine twin flame. So I see projected here, okay? So something's, something is going to happen in the future, okay? In, in days, weeks, or months, okay? Something is days, weeks, or months away. Oh, pop up. This person is going to pop up in some days, weeks, or months. Spontaneous, unexpected, surprise visit. <laughs> whoever this, um, whoever this twin flame is to you all. This person has some type of lustful desire, some type of sexual chemistry for you. Yeah, it came, I literally put it back in the deck, shuffled, and it popped back out again. This person definitely wants to have sex with you. I don't think, I don't know if you'll go for this. I think you're done with this situation. There's been some type of completion or lessons learned as it relates to this situation. I'm also seeing today, present, now, in the moment. So something could be like going on or happening like right now or could be happening soon. Yeah, that twin flame card fell out again. The one, mirrored souls, pledged. Yeah, I don't know if this person is the one, though. You got two twin flame cards out here. Maybe you got more than, oh, shit. Maybe you have more than one twin flame. Coming towards you? What the hell? We have Divine Feminine here. So you got Feminine and the Divine Feminine here. So we know that this reading is for a Feminine here. We have Archangel Michael here. So you have protection. You're prevented from any harm. Um, there's some type of Divine Intervention. Yeah, because you've had some type of ascension, some type of a spiritual awakening. Um, you're on your spiritual path. Somebody is trying to trap you. This twin flame could be trying to entrap you. This person could be trying to get you pregnant. This person could be trying to love bomb you, pulling your heartstrings. This person could be trying to trap you for money or something like that. Um... Yeah, something here with desire, twin flame entrapment. Yeah, because you're getting some type of settlement. Yeah, I see the divine masculine here. So we got the we got the masculine and the divine masculine here, the feminine and the divine feminine here, okay? Yeah, so you're all about cleansing, meditation, clearing your space, removing negativity, and then this person is poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors, or people. Um, I told you, this person is in the shadows doing something. They're going to come in and tempt you, okay? You've ignited some type of passion in this person, but I don't think they have good intentions for you yet. We got nightlife here. So this person may like the nightlife. They may like to gamble. They like to take risk. I even see something here about Vegas. This person may like to gamble or go to Vegas or just like the nightlife type of thing. This person may like to drink. Um, you have you have two twin flame cards here. You may have that is a trip. You may have more than one twin flame here. Somebody is all up in their feelings and their emotions about you, and somebody else like you. You got one twin flame that might love you unconditionally, like it may be some type of unconditional, genuine, certain love, and the other one just desire you, lust for you, got the sexual chemistry for you. Okay, they could be trying to trap you with a baby or trap you for money or um, love bomb you in some type of way. 
Um, for some of you, this may be an old twin flame trying to crop back up into your life as well as a new twin flame. Because whoever got this unconditional, genuine, certain love for you, they're like, with the waves here, they're in like a sea of emotions. It's coming and going as it relates to you. There's a lot of gossip that's going around. Yeah, see, like one of these twin flames are karmic and one of them, I feel like the, the, the one that's just masculine may be the karmic. The one that says divine masculine, this may be the one that has unconditional love for you or something. This is crazy. One of them... <laughs> This is a trip. This is a trip. There's gossip that's going around. There's happiness coming in for you, though. There's financial support that's coming in for you, though, okay? Yeah, you got one person that wants to come together. They may, some of you may want to come together, have a reconciliation with you, a spiritual union with you, have a soul contract with you. And the other person is just like yearning for you, desiring you sexually. And somebody is racing towards you. Like somebody could literally be driving. Somebody is racing towards you. Um, they better slow down for they have some type of incident or accident or something. You could be seeing signs and synchronicities here. Um, whoever you are, you're done with your family. You're completely done with your family. Your, your family could have sabotaged you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion. You could be writing something pertaining to your family. Okay? Oh, Lord. You got a lot of... Oh, shit. Yeah, somebody has a lustful sexual chemistry, what, a love affair with you. They got a dirty little secret, though. They could even be on the down low. This may be the person from your past that this may be, I don't know, but somebody else wants to come together with you. They want a commitment with you. They love you unconditionally. You, look, you got two different soul, you got two different twin flames here and you have a soulmate here who all want you. Your soulmate wants a commitment with you, a long-term relationship. This is somebody that it's, you're similar with, that y'all have a friendship and romantic partners with, okay? There's somebody that you got on this emotional roller coaster for you that has this unconditional, genuine, certain true love for you. Or okay, and then you have another one who's like really yearning for you sexually. Okay, like this person really desires you sexually, um, in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Okay, um, this is a lie, guys. Okay. So, it seems as if you have, like, three different persons, intimately, that desires you. Two are, two are twin flames and one is a soulmate. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing eternal love here. The first card that popped out, eternity, constancy, um, soulmate. We have gift here, so you could be receiving some type of gift, or somebody may want to gift you with something. There's someone who's wearing a mask around you or at a distance from you that's doing this casting curses on you. Okay? Yeah, somebody, one of these twin flames here. Somebody could be doing love spells or sex magic on you. Somebody may have an illness. This may be how somebody is trying to entrap you. This has disease, weakness, fragility here. You want to be careful of this. This may be the person or either this person that's wearing a mask is doing curses on you. They could be cursing you to like fall ill in some type of way here, okay?
there's some type of conflict that's going on because of some type of disturbance. Somebody could be trying to cause you some type of disturbance. You may be having a conflict with someone that's causing some type of disturbance to you. Somebody, you, we got stress and trapped here. Somebody is trying to stress you out. They're trying to trap you in some type of way, victimize you, allure you, trick you in some type of way, okay? I, I feel like because of all this good that's coming for you, because you're in this calm space, okay? Yeah, because you're coming into this, ab this abundance here, this luck, this jackpot, this fortune, this reward, okay? Yeah, you're striving and you're reaching for goals and you've got people who really... You got somebody who really desires you and wants you, a, a serious committed relationship with you. Yeah, this is the person who wants to come in and make you some type of promise. This person may even want to propose. This person sits back and daydream about you and um, being with you all the time. You have someone... It, it seems like a... Uh, Someone who just wants to have sex with you got a twin who just wants to have sex with you is just lusting after you sexually. You got another twin that's trying to victimize you, allure you, trick you in some type of way. This person is wearing a mask. This is a person who is doing spell work and curses on you here, okay? But you're focused on self love. Continue to focus on self love. Somebody who is very prideful and egotistical and full of vanity and pride that's working against you, they're going to have some type of accident. Okay? Um, there's danger. There's caution. There's This person is going to sustain some type of in, injury of some kind. This is the person who is working against you. This could even be that person that I said is racing towards you. Okay, yeah, because somebody is furious, somebody is mad as hell, somebody who is like prideful, very egotistical, controlling, bossy, manipulative, um, or something. This person is going to end up having some type of accident, okay, because they're mad as hell about something. I even see the death card here. Somebody may somebody may end up dying or somebody may be trying to cause your death because they want to take your abundance from you. Yeah, natural disaster here. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take these away, okay? Because I'm picking up a lot of energy from a bunch of people from behind the scenes that... It seems as if don't want to see you happy, don't want you to succeed in some type of way. That's working against you here, okay? But you definitely have multiple lovers here, okay? Um, I see justice and alliance here, okay? So you may have some type of alliance with... Um, obtain some type of alliance or have some type of alliance with police or authorities or persons in authority or power here okay this alliance alliance excuse me talks about trust honesty and compatibility um the justice talks about uh, it's supposed to talk about balance in 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 um equality and um logic and and different things like that or what have you here Be careful of overindulging, okay? Be careful of overindulging. Um, with a coach, if you have a life coach or something like that, this person could overindulge. This person could try to get you to overindulge with them here, okay? I see indulgence, coach, and adventures here. So you could be traveling with a coach or... Um, exploring or exploring some type of passions or taking some type of trip or something like that be sure not to over indulge indulge okay somebody who wants to marry you is in some type of third will third party situation here okay or either i feel like either somebody who is married desires you and wants you to be some type of third will or somebody wants to marry you 
yet they're messing with somebody else too. They got a third party situation going on here. It's more likely that this person is on somebody is already married. Yeah, they want this third third party situation with you or something here. Okay. Yeah, spirit is saying that's right. That's the person who's doing the spell work, the magic, the rituals, that's doing the curses on you. Okay. That person is married. Okay. That could be that's the one who got some type of access granted on social media. This person is under some type of fake profile. Could be communicating with you on some type of fake profile. Also, guys, um, don't necessarily look for a man. For this okay um he's under some type of fake profile and he's likely disguising himself as a woman or something so he'd like to completely throw you off to make you believe that you know um it's not a guy or something that you're talking to or something like that but this is the same person um he wants a love affair with you okay he has this lustful desire the sexual chemistry for you okay but this person may be married he's a twin though he's a twin flame of yours okay he has a dirty little secret though he may have several dirty little secrets he could even be on the down low okay um that's one of your twin flames. One of your other twin flames. Um, this person, this person is like, is in this like this this wave of emotions. Okay, for you, this person has some type of unconditional, genuine, certain love for you. Okay, they want to come together with you. Um, maybe want to reconcile with you. Have some type of. Um, uh, spiritual union with you or so contract with you and then you have the soulmate who wants a commitment with you this is a person who wants a serious committed relationship with you okay who wants um to be your lover homie and your friend okay um that you know that wants this person wants to grow old with you the soulmate do this is eternal love this this may this person may even want to propose make you some type of promise they're sitting back daydreaming about you. Okay. That's what's going on here, guys. I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with. Okay. Or pertaining to a situation that you may know that someone is dealing with. Spirit, clarify this joy. There is joy and happiness and peace and abundance and growth that is coming in for you, no doubt. One of these one of these twins is somebody from your past, Spirit is saying. One of these twin flames is somebody from your past, okay? Another one of these twin flames, they want to bring about some type of change in your life. They're going to be sending you some type of messages. I see 88 here, okay? Eight of Cups, Eight of Wands here. That may be the soulmate person. Let's see. There's a fire sign that wants you stuck, trapped, restricted, unable to move or get out of the situation. This other twin flame, they're in devilish energy here, okay? they That's where all that lust and, you know, <laughs> fire and desire come from, honey. Um, temptations, lust, you know, addictions and different things come from, okay? So, one of the, like I said, one of these twins is somebody from your past one of these twins they're chained to the devil then you have the soulmate okay this person somebody this person wants a partnership with you relationship with you this person who's chained to the devil they want to betray you they want to have sex with you they they have a yearning for you but um this is the one who's in the shadows doing something behind the scenes behind your back they're coming in to tempt you okay to uh, ignite something passionately within you okay but they're doing something behind the scenes okay this person from your past they're all up in their feelings and their emotions about you okay yeah you're coming into abundance Okay, this talks about contentment, luxury, stability, prosperity, 
Yeah, you got the Nine of Coins and the Wheel of Fortune. This wheel is in the upright. It's, in, it's turning in your favor. This talks about better luck in your life, okay? Um, stability, security, finances, money, resources. Yeah, hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true for you. You got Nine Nine here. Nine of Coins, Nine of Cups, Wheel of Fortune here, okay? Be careful of these twins, okay? For some reason, I feel like your twins do not have your best interest at heart. Somebody in particular, one of them or both of them may want to cause you. You may experience sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret with one of these individuals. Definitely the one that's chained to the devil here. This person is literally trying to betray you, plan to betray you, stab you in your back in some type of way. This is the one that's just trying to victimize you, allure you, trick you, that's doing spell work on you. This is the one who is spying on you online, okay, and could possibly be communicating with you from a fake profile, okay? Yeah, we got the Ten of Coins here. You're coming into a lot of money, baby, a lot of money. Somebody... Somebody has paid one of your twins to come in and get close to you to cause your death. That's what this, this devil and this betrayal is about. That's what that devil, ten of swords, ace of coins, death here. Somebody has paid. There's a group of individuals who's collaborated together for the purposes of money to work against you. You also have some type of talent, skill, or ability. Somebody could try to convince you to collaborate with them. Okay? Um, you want to be careful of that, okay? They could be trying to set you up for failure. Oh, man. I see a king of coins. King of Coins and the Seven of Swords came out together. King of Coins is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Masculine. This person... Wow. This person is a liar, cheater, deceiver, manipulator, con artist, Spirit is saying. Well, that's what the Seven of Swords talks about. Spirit is saying you have options, though. You have several different options to choose from. There's several people who are interested in you intimately. Okay, we got the, we got the, we have a fire sign here with the Eight of Swords. This person is trying to trap you. This person wants you trapped, stuck, restricted, imprisoned, unable to move. This person wants to hold you hostage. Okay, type of thing. Okay, you are an empress. Okay, I see the empress in the six of swords here. You're moving on to calmer waters. Okay, this talks about hope, this talks about relief, this talks about your faith, your courage. You're moving on to calmer waters. Okay, these love prospects trying to come into your life. Um, some of them are trying to entrap you for money. Yeah, there's that magician. So spell work is definitely being done on you, okay? I see the, the moon and the four of wands here. Somebody is hiding the fact that they're married. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they're married from you. That could be what this seven of swords is about, this person lying to you, okay? Um, this person is, go is hiding the fact that they're married, okay? There's a lot of jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition, okay, around. Spirit, what else is going on here? Anything else, Spirit? Keep focusing on your work, okay? Keep focusing on your work. Continue to work hard. You have the eight, nine, and the ten of coins here. You have the three of coins here because somebody wants to make you some type of offer here. But if you're in the eight, nine, and ten of coins on your own, how can they possibly offer you only the three of coins and some type of offer to, like, collaborate with them? Okay, so, yeah, like I said, read contracts thoroughly. Anything that you don't understand, seek legal counsel, okay? Because that's what they don't expect most people to do because they, they're so used to people being all giddy and excited and, you know, flabbergasted by the fact that somebody is invested in them, taking a chance on them, offering them. They're seeing a check with numbers that they've never seen before, okay? And they don't think of it about the logistics of nothing. They don't read a damn thing. They flip to the last page and they sign the name, Okay? And it ain't so much later that they realize that, you know, 
dating got wrapped up in a bad situation here okay i see the temperance card here okay so you are an earth angel you're a chosen one you're your star seed you are an indigo okay you could be highly sensitive indigo um there's something that's natural about you nurturing caring loving generous about you okay but you have people who would genuinely love that about you and then you have people who are opportunists who are looking to prey upon that they know that you're nice they know that you're kind they know that you are giving and so they want to come in and say and do whatever they can do to uh, get close to you to get you to let your guards down and to trust them just to betray you okay So that's what's going on here, y'all. We do have the lovers here, though. Okay? I feel like you have your choices. You have options in, in, in the love department. It's very insane. Okay? These individuals may come in being generous and giving to you. Okay? Ace of Wands. This talks about growth, passion, drive, moving forward taking action in your life okay i see the three of swords with the higher fin here there could be someone there's someone i see the three of swords the higher fin and the queen of wands with the five of coins here okay Whoever this fire sign woman is, this person could be an ordained minister, they could be a religious leader, or hold some type of significant position within the church, or possibly some type of position of authority of some kind. This person has caused you heartache and heartbreak. This person also has abandoned you, neglected you, left you out in the cold, left you with a lack of finances, money, resources, or support here, okay? This person may even try to weasel their way back into your life here, okay? But you have happiness, abundance, new beginnings, fulfillment, fresh starts coming in for you, okay? I see a king of swords here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And I see emperor here. This, um, and an earth sign in behind that, Okay. This earth sign could be an emperor, okay? This is somebody who is grounded, stable, and secure. This person this is a person who holds structure and organization, um, maybe an owner or ruler or manage something. This person could be in power and authority. This person is a father or father figure. This person, I don't know if this person trying to come in as your soulmate, but this person is going to lie to you. This person is going to lie to you and is going to hide the fact that they're already married or that they're still married to somebody. Because this person is coming out with the Seven of Swords and the Moon card with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is a marriage card. That person is still married. That person is still married, okay? You could have a fire sign and an air sign. A fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Um, who is trying to um, have something with you. Um, I will say, whoever this fire sign is, they're younger. They're like, they're young. Like, they don't have to be real young like that or whatever, but they might be younger than you. Like you might be like say you in your say you in your forties, okay? Or say you're forty. This person might be thirty. Okay? Or say you're you're thirty. This person might be twenty five. You understand what I'm saying? This person is a little hornball. If he is older than this, because he's coming out as a knight, okay? Um Yeah, this is the type of thing he may he's he's God's gift to women, okay? This guy he he thinks he find the death and everybody want it, okay? You also have a king of swords here, Aquarius Libra or Gemini. So you have a, a younger um a well a, a fire sign that's coming out as a knight, such as Aries or Leo. You have an air sign, Aquarius Libra or Gemini, a king of uh, swords. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. You also have a king of coins here, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But this person is hiding something, is lying to you about something, hiding something from you, uh, would be cheating, lying, or cheating, or sneaking and creeping around, trying to get away with something. This person is definitely hiding something. And it's the fact that they're married. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I also see a king of cups. It's like this, there's a king of cups who's like working really hard, hanging around, waiting to see what's going to happen. Um, could be in hermit mode, uh, maybe waiting to travel towards you or see you. It's like they're waiting to see what somebody else is going to do. This person could be in mental conflict, but it's like they want to tell you some type of truth or clarity, but they're dealing with some type of burdens, hardships, and problematic situations. This water sign is uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Masculine. But with the seven of swords, I mean, excuse me, the seven of coins here, it's like this person is working hard. And, and with the with the, the hangman, it's like they're hanging around, they're waiting to see what's going to happen with something. They're in hermit mode, they just kind of, you know what I'm saying, ducked off, hid out, okay, before they try to travel towards you or, or something like that or whatever, because of something that has to do with a fire sign masculine, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You could be this high priestess energy, okay? I feel like you liable, you liable to be defensive towards all these people, much as you have gone through, okay? You may be a little bit defensive, feel like you need to protect yourself here. You've definitely endured a lot with the seven of wands here, but you are very much determined, okay? You're coming into some type of success, triumph, victory, or maybe even public recognition here, okay? That's what's going on here, y'all. So I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with. Honey, you definitely, you have some wonderful things that's happening in your life. Um, maybe even in your career. Okay. You have so many options all of a sudden. Okay. I guarantee you, you probably have never had this many options uh, relationships wise, love wise, or, you know, sexual wise in all of your life. Okay. So make no mistake, some of these people who's coming towards you acting like they're attracted to you, it's only because they see that you're abundant. They see that you're coming into some type of finances, money, resources, um, or something. And they want to attach themselves to that here, okay? Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. You got, a, you got a twin flame that's very toxic and chained to the devil, okay? This person has this lustful desire with you. This person wants to have a love affair with you, okay? You got another twin, like I said. Um, this person is all up in their feelings and emotions about you, okay? They could actually have some type of unconditional, genuine, or certain love for you or what have you, but, you know... Um, who's to say their true attentions here, okay? And you even have a soulmate who wants a commitment with you, wants a serious committed relationship with you, but this person may not be, this person may be still legally married to someone else. Now, they, you know, they could be legally separated, but the fact of the matter is what's on paper, they're still legally married to that person. And as long as they're still legally married to that person, they couldn't legally marry you, okay? Which there lies a problem. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, if it's really in, you know, situations like that, I, I don't understand why people do that for so long or whatever. Because I'm like, if it's really over, like, what the hell is taking y'all so long in getting a divorce? But, um, divorce is cost. So, you know, some people, you know, they separate for a very long time, maybe to see if they're going to reconcile and get back together or whatever. But sometimes it be over, over. And, you know, like, it, in, like, I can, I get y'all not, I mean, um, Oh, shit. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had to plug up my device. Um, But, yeah. Anyway, what I was saying is, I don't know why people wait so long to get um, a divorce, you know, and they'd be, like, done, done. They'd be, like, separated in a legal separation for, like, ever. They have moved on with their life, but some people are so stubborn. They refuse, like, I literally know someone that they were separated from their husband for, like, 10 years and refused to give them a divorce, and, um, you know, it, it took this person getting with someone else and this person getting jealous, um, 
and this person almost had to commit a crime like um to get married to this other person but what happened is is the other person got pregnant so the person went ahead and just went on and gave this person a divorce but they had like literally been separated legally separated for like 10 years or whatever but you you y'all be surprised a lot of people do that shit for financial reasons so they can still you know hustle money out of the person because they're still legally married to them and all this other kind of stuff but i just i mean you know if it's over it's over i don't know why people um it's a trip some people are like that though like they may not love you no more they don't want you anymore but it's like they don't want nobody else to have you like that's the selfish shit i've ever heard of but anyway guys that's all i was saying honey so as always y'all take care of yourself take care of each other but most of all take care of your baby honey remember this is a wicked wicked world that we live in there's wickedness in high places and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner even in a neighborhood near you so y'all watch your surroundings watch the company you keep watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well and considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you backstab you try to hurt you or harm you honey keep you some protection on you y'all stay awake stay aware stay vigilant and stay prepared because if you stay ready you ain't gotta get ready baby until the next time peace love and light namaste i am that i am created in the image of god guys any information you need from me you can find in the description box below how to contact me um how to follow me on instagram how to donate to the channel if you would like to donate um i would really really appreciate you all showing more support to the channel um Okay, I've had my channel for about seven years or more, and I don't get any support at all. People barely are watching, which I know because I'm a targeted individual, I'm being targeted by the government as well as the industry, as well as the sellouts and my fake family, or what have you. Okay, so um, my, my things are being done on purpose to keep my video count down, to keep my subscriber viewer count, to keep my viewer count down, to keep my subscribers down. And, you know, in all of that, because people are, are hating on me. They don't want to see me progress. They don't want to see me do good or what have you. So, um, this channel depends on you all showing your support. So, whether you thumbs up or you thumbs down, just show your support and how you feel about the video, okay? This helps me to know what type of content you all would prefer to hear, um, that you like better and different things like that or what have you. Okay, guys. So, I thank you so much. Um, and I'll talk to you all later. Peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God.